Lee by Harper Auto Square. WBIR 10 News starts now. Love it or hate it, East Tennessee transformed into this wintry landscape this morning. What started as rain quickly turned to snow. This was the scene at Adair Park in North Knoxville this afternoon. Fun to see that, wasn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. I love it. It's also a beautiful scene in the mountains. Taking a live look now at Newfound Gap. The snow there moved out earlier, and now it's just plain cold. Dropping temperatures are forcing several school districts to close or delay classes. Here they are. Students in Knox County will start an hour late. Blunt and Sevier County students are off for the day. They're in the mountains. They got a little bit more snow than the valley. And you can find a full list of closed schools and businesses right now at WBIR.com. And we will continue to scroll them across the bottom of your screen as well. Now the winter weather isn't done. Again, we are facing another hurdle here, and that includes days of freezing temperatures. Yes, we're not talking about 32 degrees. We're talking mm -hmm. about a lot lower than that. Meteorologist Todd Howe joining us to let us know just how low we will be going. Yeah, mid to upper teens tonight, and at least the lower teens tomorrow night. Some areas could be in the upper single digits Wednesday night, Thursday morning. John and Robin, thank you so much. Hope you're having a great Tuesday. Kind of East Tennessee's versions of the uh, Rocky Mountains, so to speak, with the snow-capped mountains. Of course, the Smokies, but you can kind of see some of that through the clouds and it's kind of a beautiful picturesque scene there. A very cold wintry scene from Gatlinburg and our high definition camera. Still uh, some flurries moving through. I do want to mention a little band of light snow we're monitoring in northern Sevier County. Just a little batch could coat the roads. We'll take a closer look at radar in just a moment, but uh, I do want to mention that uh, there's still a little bit of light snow flurry action in northern Sevier County moving toward Cock County. Meanwhile, it's sunny in Alcoa Highway. Certainly a cold wintry scene, but at least the roadways have had time to dry out due to the wind, the dry air evaporation and the sun. That solar angle, certainly even in uh, late January, and the sun, of course, is strong enough to do some solar insulation and evaporation of that moisture off the street. So that's some good news. Temperature just dropped another degree, though, 29, and it feels like 20 outside. Here's temperatures, 24 in Crossville. It's uh, 30 in Rogersville, 27 in Maryville. You got a lot of snow in Maryville. 14 is the wind chill in Crossville. Feels like 10 in Jamestown. So look at the wind chills. This is for Wednesday single digit and teens wind chills, even wind chills forecast to be below zero parts of Kentucky and also northern plateau with a wind chill advisory 7 o'clock tonight through 10 a.m. Thursday. So we're clearing out right now. We actually can see a few more snow flurries late tonight and into our Wednesday morning. We'll talk about that with those bitterly cold temperatures coming again tomorrow in a few moments. John and Robin. All right, Todd, we do appreciate it. And in this weather, of course, it's all about dressing in layers. Layers, your best friend over the next couple of days. In these conditions, many pediatricians recommend bundling your kids in a few layers. An easy rule of thumb is to always put one more layer on your kids than you need and avoid exposing any skin while you are outside. That helps prevent frostbite. In weather this cold also, organizations